as we Absolutely. move on to our first athlete. Trevor West says that he has been uh, primarily doing rock climbing. Coming back to Ninja for this event, though. Well, rock climbing, of course, has such a strong crossover in the Ninja department. It's great for endurance and will prove very valuable on that taxing challenge course coming up. You can see him just going through the lashes, choosing not to link, but actually just kind of swing through them one arm after the other. Trevor taking full advantage of those kind of rock climbing, passive ways of moving through the course here. Certainly true, very that casual. Energy. Also won the Rockford Ninja Warrior competition up in his former home of Michigan. Yeah, Michigan, excuse me. Uh, Two-time champion up there. So certainly an accomplished ninja. Looking to get back onto this scene by making this reverse grab. He does. Welcome back to Ninja Trevor West. And a headbutt of the buzzer. That was all around a very calm, collected run. It reminds me of... I guess we can see the rock climbing coming into effect there. He used a lot of different rock climbing techniques. And of course, this final grab is no struggles for anyone in the rock climbing community. They've got that grip strength. We head over to Trevor West. If you were watching the kids and mature kids, you saw a huge picture of Trevor over on the kids' side of the facility. Trevor, a former coach here at Austin Ninjas, has been mainly focusing on climbing recently, but an elite ninja Nevertheless, took this past season off from WNL, but he is back with a vengeance today. And I guess that climbing background could play really well into his favor in this uh, in this very difficult endurance-based course. If he can get through the technical obstacles like skyhooks, he might have a bit more promise as we move into the back end of the course, hopefully. But now coming into the skyhooks, the, the obstacle that has devastated a lot of our elite-level competitors here today, just because of the nature and the difficulty of it, but Trevor move. is moving through well, Alex. This is a confident run. Well, he certainly hasn't looked like he's lost a step. He's got this ring no. tech down on lock, although getting a little bit hung up here as he tries to redirect his swing for this last jump. He's got it. Just has to shift his momentum once again. And he is and that through. Was a clean run through skyhooks. Very fast time. That does put him into second place. So we will see Trevor West on the podium and in Ferox. But so much more still left on this course. And this is where all this rock climbing experience is really going to help him out here. You can see this is such a comfortable approach to such a difficult obstacle traditionally. Trevor has that endurance. He knows how to use that rock climbing to his advantage. Can he stick the lache though? He's just gearing up for that now. Goes one hand over the other and it works. Usually you don't see that on UFOs because you really have to match your hands, but it works. Trevor West should be into first place, giving us a little bit of a scare there with an interesting little dismount, but let's see if he can be the first elite male to beat balance. Now lining it up, proving to be a bit more difficult for our elites who are a bit heavier than our team competitors, so the boxes really move when they're on them. I can hear Mary Layton in my head telling me about how the elite females might have a little bit of an advantage on this obstacle, as we saw both women who got here, Addie and Madeline, beat this obstacle, but Jonathan Bange came undone here, and Trevor having a lot of trouble. Trevor now on the back end of the balance, there and he gets it. Alex, if you, had told, if you hadn't told me that he had a train ninja recently, I, I, I wouldn't have noticed. He is throwing down the best elite male run we have seen to this point. And with 30 seconds on the clock, he's shown us that he has the technical abilities to beat this mega throwback. And I would love him to see him through this obstacle. He wasn't able to do this obstacle oh. in the World Championships, so this might be a new element to him, although he was pretty close there on that throw. That was looking strong. He's got 21 seconds on the clock, so if he's to complete this, he's going to have to go after it and go quick. 13 seconds. This definitely has the time. If he makes this catch, which he does, gets out of there, grabs the handle. He wasn't allowed to grab the handle. No. He had to grab the cliff. He was running too low on time, and a mental error will cost him the cure on that obstacle. Nevertheless, he's in first place. 
Trevor has won our hearts through this incredible run here. Unfortunately, just coming out due to a technicality, but he has demonstrated that he's a force to be reckoned with in this ninja community. And maybe rock climbing isn't too bad of a sport to take up, Alex, as, a, as, yeah. a, as an addition to your training. Eh? 